All right, let's talk about what happens when a new customer signs up. It's important to understand this so that your new uh, customer onboarding flow can be smooth. So right now I'm just on the page where a customer would sign themselves up. So just know that we're asking for some personal information so that you have what you need to be able to contact them and deal with them. We're not going to go over the different types of accounts. Those are all done in other tutorials. So when your customer submits this form, let me show you what happens. Okay, so really the only place that they go, and I'm using air quotes, is to the company's page. So you'll have a new company right here. Um, that'll just happen quietly. So in order to really take action on new company signups, you're going to want to use triggers. Now we've already gone over triggers in other tutorials, but let's just talk about it in this context. So I'm going to come up here and go to triggers and let's just talk about some of the things that you'll want to do for sure. So I think one of the mandatory things you need to do is create a welcome email. So you want to create a trigger that when they sign up, they'll get an email welcoming them, giving them everything that they need to know about your company, at least the things they haven't learned already. So this demo site has something like that. So again, I'm not going to get into how to create these. We're just talking general ideas right now. A couple other ideas that I strongly suggest is having uh, maybe a text message go to your salesman. This can be handy for, you know, a personal phone call. Anyway, there's a lot you can do with this. The point of this is to show you that when a new company signs up without triggers in place, they just kind of quietly appear in the company's list. So make sure you have some triggers set up to welcome them and then other triggers set up to take them through your onboarding process. It's pretty simple.